What is going on YouTube and welcome to another episode of Crypto Crusaders where we dominate crypto one coin at a time. Before getting started, we'd like to ask please smash that like button, comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Helps me make these videos for guys and find the newest coin. So I have a new crypto for you guys. Uh, after searching for some time, I found, I stumbled upon it. And it is called Safe Vault. And we're gonna see what this crypto has to offer. Now it looks like it has a play on the Safe Moon token. Uh, looking closely, it looks like it looks like uh, the rocket has landed on the moon, and it is locked on a vault. Safe Vault is the first hyper deflationary, self-sustaining, 22% auto reimbursing safe moon rewarding token that was a loaded sentence so it looks like there's a self-sustaining 22 percent auto reimbursing system where you get rewarded 22 percent i would assume this would scale based on the amount of tokens you have so off the bat it looks like it is a bep 20 token because their contract is on pancake swap you can find a contract right here they have a twitter Discord, Telegram, Instagram, and Facebook. Tap into the Safe Vault token. What makes this token so special? You get rewards in the SFM token. So, 20% of each sale goes back to the holders directly to your wallet. That's actually quite high. So, so this is a huge incentive for you to hold this token if you get 20%. If you get 20% based on the reflections, it's much different compared to the roughly 3% on each sale holding the SFM directly. So I would assume if you kept it in the vaults, you get 20% rather than just holding it directly in your wallet. Holders will also receive 2% of each buy fee directly as SFM as well. So in total, 22%. So in order to sustain this, there are higher sales fees. There's never been a token with such a high sales fee. Despite a massive demand from the crypto community to invest in such a token, we're tired of the constant pump and dump and want to find those true long-term gems. We believe that our sales fee combined with the SFM rewards is what makes us special. Looks, looks like there is a charity aspect to this token. So a little bit of utility if you want to get involved. You have the chance to own a much larger market share of safe vaults than regular SFM, which also increases your share of the reward proportionally. Our goal isn't just to help you earn rewards, but to also help those in need. We will be donating to small businesses and schools in the Gambia. This charitable mission helps those in need, which also directly supports SFM, M's, SFM's goals. The Vault Army. We are huge on Save Moon. Supporters and holders who like you are in constant scramble to continue to accumulate more Save Moon. The only problem is that at this point in the game, the small amounts of money we can't afford to buy doesn't get us many tokens. We know this problem exists for 99% of you as well. So we found a better way. This problem will only get worse as the price of a safe moon increases. You are directly supporting the growth of SFM as you buy, hold, or sell. Now going into vault rewards, uh, everyone likes rewards, so we'll see what this entails. How do rewards work? So when you buy safe vault token, you begin a 24 hour timer and SFM rewards begin occurring in our system. Automatic rewards are put into a queue over the 24 hour period and pay out an order based on your line in the queue. It takes a buy or sell transaction by anyone for the contract to pay whoever is next after they've held for 24 hours. So there is a queue which is triggered by the condition that there is a buy or sell order and Within the 24 hour period, as you hold it, you will get paid. How long does it take to receive the rewards? Automatic rewards may take several hours after the 24 hour period, depending on the volume of buy and sells when your 24 hour period is over. As volume increases, rewards begin to get paid closer to 
the exact 24 hour period. If your rewards aren't paid at exactly 24 hours, your rewards continue to build. You need to accumulate around 1 million SFM to our contract to send out rewards. So the more volume there is on this token, the faster your queue in line will be completed as close as 24 hour period. So I would say it's very important that many people get onto this token if you are interested in this project. Trigger your rewards early. So there's a way to trigger the rewards. When you personally buy or sell, you trigger the rewards you earned for the day and your auto 24 claim clock starts over. If you want your rewards right away and do not want to wait, send one vault token anywhere like our burn address. Our system is fully automatic and works on its own. So in order to trigger it early, you just send one vault token anywhere and it will speed up the reward process. So the vault tokenomics, the important meat of things, cheap to buy, expensive to sell. That's straight Econ 101 stuff. So it's almost like a diamond hands token, if that existed. Um, there's a total supply of this many, purchase fee of 5%. And here's the outrageous 30% fee on all sales of a safe vault. So you really, really, really do not want to sell this token unless your profit margins are quite high. Isn't a 30% sales fee a little high? Great question. While most people are excited about the sales fee and the rewards it gives them, it's natural some will be skeptical given it's something entirely new. Which is true, this is the first where I've seen the sales fee being extremely high. But please consider the buying and selling fee math for other popular tokens before you make up your mind. So they give a comparison of similar tokens. So SafeMoon itself has a 20% fee in total if you buy or sell. Uh, now that gets broken down per buying and selling. Ever rise 13% buying, 11% selling. Tiki token 15% buying, 18% selling, safe vault 5% buying, and 30% selling. So, safe vault does have the highest fees, but in comparison to other tokens, not too bad. As you can see at the first glance, the fees may seem much more than everything else, but we just rearranged the fee distribution in favor of long term holding. We think SFM rewards greatly justify the slight increase in overall fees. So how is the 5% buying fee broken down? That's a great question. I love how they broke it down. So 3.65% goes to automatic rewards, automatic SFM rewards. So 0.83% gets buy back and burned. 0.33 goes into auto liquidity and 0.165% goes into marketing. Pretty straightforward. How is the 30% selling fee broken down? This is what I love. So, so far, I really like how transparent the token is when it comes to fee distribution and the allocation of how it's getting distributed. So, this is how 30% is breaking down. 22 is rewarded to holders as SFM. 5% is bought back or burned. This is determined automatically based on the liquidity level. 2% is sent to liquidity, so it continually rises, and 1% goes to marketing. And you could see the chart here, which is pretty cool. So three ways to support SFM. So our biggest whale in SafeMoon Burn Wallet owns 2% of Safe Vault supply and receives SFM rewards daily to be burned we literally buy and burn SFM to contribute to the burn. So that's awesome. It tells, they tell you that the biggest wallet is a burn wallet and nothing to be too afraid about. SFM rewards to charity, our marketing wallet also earns SFM rewards daily. A portion of these rewards we're planning to use for charity in Gambia, which is good. Charity is also always good. We're helping you money filter through the e SFM ecosystem that otherwise might not be incentivized to be invested. This helps SFM grow and helps increase the burn. It's almost as if this is a, a support token for SafeMoon. 
So you can find them in Pancake Swap, BSC Scan, Coin Market Cap, and Coin Gecko. And here's the charity. We're thrilled to announce that portions of the SF Emerald Rewards earned by Marketing Wallet will be used to fund small businesses in Gambia. We can't think of a better long term use case for a safe vault token than changing lives and making dreams come true. This aligns directly with the growth and development of SFM and is essential for us to continue to do our part to support their overall vision. More details to come. So, three ways a safe vault token fattens your wallet. The more safe vault you buy, the bigger your market share, and thus the bigger your rewards in SFM. Once your SFM rewards continue to stack up now, you're also earning compounding interest in reflections. The value of the token itself should skyrocket in value as more SFM lovers. You see this opportunity as the value of Safe Moon itself continues to grow. Now here's the roadmap. Creation of the team. Social media marketing push one. Phase one growth. Marketing push two. Pancake swap token tracking. Marketing push three. Global listing. Global listings. Vault charity and listing on the ex Safe Moon exchange. So I love how they added the uh, FAQs. Try to buy this over Safe Moon directly. We love Safe Moon and want to support it in any way possible. But with a Safe Vault token, holders receive 20% of each sale versus roughly 3% when holding Safe Moon directly. You also have an opportunity to own a much larger market share of Safe Vault that you can acquire with the same amount of money buying Safe Moon. This increases your reward. They tell you their plans. Uh, but a lot of advertising is pretty straightforward. Are the devs doxed? So our safe vault community managers Mike and Eric are partially doxed and live stream constantly on Twitch and YouTube. So I love how they are going to get doxed and they're they're look pretty transparent about it. What will you do if your private sale and pre-sale sell your token at launch and drastically drop the price? We will educate everyone that this is very common in all new cryptocurrencies at launch. And for quality projects, it is absolute best opportunity to buy more. Although we doubt this will happen due to the 30% selling fee. Which I do agree with. Um, you'll be making poor decisions if you sold prematurely, especially with this high fee. Major exchanges. So the goal is to switch networks because they're only on the Binance Smart Chain. They have an anti-bot measure in place. They have an anti-bot measure in place. Unfortunately, we cannot disclose what measures because the people that own bots will know how to counter them. Pretty straightforward. With the big selling fee, won't people just hold a token and we won't see very many safe and rewards. So we can protect market behavior obviously because we can share different ways it could go first off we think that this is such a new attractive idea to safe moon holders that as safe moon holders continue to learn about it their interest is definitely intrigued because of the number and potential to increase their bag this is the most crucial part because you always need interest and you buyers in any token but it should be relatively easy for us. With millions of safe moon holders who all want more, they will slowly learn about us giving a a high a highly likely chance of a constant stream of new interested investors. So as long as we have a new stream of people, if the holders are big time holders and don't sell, then the price of vault goes way up. And the 2% of buys still gets redistributed to them as safe moon. If there is quite a bit of buying and selling, you have a mix of big safe moon rewards being given out as well as price fluctuations. It's similar to safe moon in the sense that we need that all we need is volume. It's just that if we get it, you get rewarded significantly more because of the token structure and because you have a much bigger market share. So it shows you how to buy. You buy it on pancake swap and it shows you the slippage and in this case it's going to be 30 to 40 percent due to the fees and or you could also buy it on their own safe vault swap which is pretty cool contract address it is a story how to buy it using trust wallet now scrolling down to the team eric sean jen and mike quite a small team 
However, I love how they show their faces and they give a description about each of them. And you can see they are currently working on a surgic audit, which is pretty good. So based off this entire website, it looks like it doesn't need a white paper, but it would have been nice to have a white paper uh, just in case you wanted to read it offline or something. Uh, but now going on to the BSC scan. So there are currently 7,767 addresses, a total of 31,832 transfers, and transactions are happening every other minute. So it's quite active. You can see the claim happenings for the rewards and the swaps. It's pretty cool. Going on to the holders. So it shows you the burn address, the liquidity on pancake swap, and here's a dead wallet, it looks like. And a bunch of whales. Now going on to the price, they're currently sitting at point one, two, three, four, five Satoshi units. One three three three, three four eight. And looks like it quite stabilized for a bit. There was a pump, dump, and it's slightly trending upwards so let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section below are you excited about the safe vault token are you excited in the mechanisms that this token holds let me know your thoughts in the comments section below and let me know if i missed anything with that being said thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video